Dreaming might just be the weirdest thing ever. We're just there. Like we literally close our eyes and live in an alternate universe that we have no control over. Maybe it's just that I'm a control freak, but this doesn't sit right with me. A part of me feels like there's just gotta be some sort of deeper meaning to this. And after just a few minutes of digging, Turns out I was right. Dreams represent unconscious desires and wishes. So basically, they're just a result of emotions. So if dreams are just based on an emotion, which I have, then I wonder how much my dreams I'm having would actually teach me about myself. So lo and behold, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be tracking my dreams for the next seven days straight to master my emotions once and for all. Let's get it. Good morning. I mean, good night. It is day number one, ladies and gentlemen. So in order to have this challenge actually be useful in some sort of way and not just me doing random crap for no reason, I made out a little protocol that I'm going to be following during this just so I can actually transfer the information I'm learning into some sort of knowledge, hopefully. So here's what the protocol is going to be. So I'm going to be taking voice notes whenever I wake up during the night, if it's from a dream and I have some sort of memory or when I'm waking up in the morning and or. So whenever I wake up, essentially, I'm going to be doing a voice note or whatever I was just dreaming about. And then in the morning, I'm going to listen back to all of the voice notes I had throughout the night. And I'm going to be expressing what I was feeling during those dreams and what it makes me think about at that time. What's kind of interesting about sleep, sleep will actually clear out the emotions you have to memories. Normally, when you think of a memory that happened during the day, you have some sort of emotion tied to it. When you sleep, you're actually going to remove that emotion from the memory, leaving just the memory instead. It's like a weird thing that sleep does. So I'm gonna make sure to do that every single day so I'm aware of what I was feeling during each of those dreams. And then finally, end on day seven, and I'm just gonna literally be reviewing everything that I found. I'm gonna listen to all of the voice notes, all of the journal entries I had, everything like that, to hopefully come to a conclusion about what the freak these dreams do. <sighs> Let's go to bed. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's officially time for the first journal of the challenge. So I'm gonna go ahead, review all of the voice notes, see what I find. So I just had a freaking dream. One of those stupid dreams where you're in and out of sleep and you fall and you freaking jolt awake. Yeah, I just had one of those. I don't think there's any significance to that whatsoever, but thought I would report it anyways. <laughs> freaking sucked. Okay. <clears throat> Um, I just had a dream that I was um, laying in my bed and I totally forgot to do any recording of this video. I slept through everything and I totally spaced during this entire video, which is a little weird to me. But good news is I am here. I'm doing it. <laughs> kind of weird how that works. I just finished with the notes for the first official night of the challenge. And what I've come down to is I was having a little bit of anxiety of some sorts, more just like a pressure to film this video, I would say. Normally with stuff like this, I can get my mind off of it because once I get in bed, there's nothing else I have to do so I can get my mind fully on sleep. This video is very differently because I'm almost still working while I'm sleeping, which is very interesting because that translated directly into my dream. So after first night, I just noted a little bit of anxiety and pressure, I would say. It's so weird how that works. It's very weird. One thing that I've noticed over the years is how difficult yet important it is to master your emotions. But dude, it's freaking hard because most of the time, I feel like a lot of people, especially in our day and age, are used to just kind of pushing their emotions under the rug, which is exactly what I did. So recently, I was listening to a podcast and it kind of opened my eyes on emotions and how important they actually are and how much they tell you. So I've kind of been on a little journey the past like, I don't know, half a year, something like that, to embrace your emotions a little bit more and actually like feel the emotions, even though they're bad emotions, feel every single emotion that you feel and figure out what causes you to feel each and every emotion, which is kind of how I got to this point altogether together because I learned about how much your sleep actually shows your emotions and how hard it is to tap into your subconscious mind. But sleep is literally a gateway into your subconscious mind. So it tells you so much about the stuff you can't even think about if you wanted to. 
freaking crazy, bro. And then it was on to the next night. Such a strange dream last night. It's so funny because I rarely remember my dreams. I rarely remember them. So listening back on them is like really weird and hearing like how I talk about it and stuff like that. Last night's dream was super, super strange for me. Such a strange dream. So essentially, I was driving with some friends in a little circle, like a little cul-de-sac type of thing. We're driving along and we decide to get out the car because I had to go to the bathroom in a porta potty. There's a porta potty sitting on the road, so I get out, go over to the porta potty. I'm walking over to this porta potty and there's this old man walking towards me on the street. So I look over at him, kind of to get a feel for what he's doing, and he starts running towards me. So naturally, I run away i run away but i was running so freaking slow i'm running in this little circle this cul-de-sac trying to get away from him which when i woke up such a strange dream the fact that i ran away in my dream is very odd and it's something i need to look into a little bit more because i think every single person would like to think if someone was running at him especially an old man you beat the freak out of him you know what i'm saying like if someone's coming to come at you like that you would fight back your dreams really tell you exactly how you would act in that situation and looking at it i'm like is it because it was an old man that i decided to run away and not fight back or is it just because of like I've always been a natural like lover. You don't need a fight. You can de-escalate the situation. So is that why I ran away? I was like, I'll just get out of here, de-escalate the situation. I'm not sure. I really have no idea. So it's something I'm going to look into a little bit more. But it's so odd that during this challenge, I get a negative dream, a very vivid negative dream. Like my body's trying to tell me something. So the emotions that I noted down from this dream after looking back on it, feeling it, thinking about it during was a little bit of anxiety and a little bit of self-disappointment, which is probably a little bit of my masculinity hurting, let's be honest, running away instead of fighting back. I would say those were the two big emotions that I felt in last night's sleep. Interesting. With all this thinking and soul searching, I decided it was time to take a mental break. And what better way to do that than a cold plunge? If you have the money. So it should, okay, be, very, it. It should be very doable. Wait, is it when my whole body's in? Or oh you... yeah, three, two, one, go, and I'll start it when you're in. Oh my God, it's cold, bro. Okay, three. <laughs> what do you mean three? <laughs> I started. Yep, three. <laughs> We're gonna see if we can go longer. I think I got this on the bro. I've been doing cold plunges, cold showers my whole life. Cold showers? <laughs> cold showers. Maybe they're like this 60 degrees. Cold. My nipples are instantly frozen. All right, guys, he's been in for five minutes and 10 seconds. Five minutes, 10 seconds? Money. Go to six. Oh, three. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> cool. I'm definitely not beating him, I'll tell you that now. <laughs> oh, where's that energy on camera? You ready for this? Yes. I'm probably shivering behind the camera. First time ever in a cold plunge, huh? Oh my gosh, babe, it's so cold. <laughs> yeah. No, I can't. Yeah, you You're can't going. do it, Mochi. You got it. No, my whole body is really cold. You got it, baby. Just send Can it. Can I go on my knees? No. Nope. That's the same amount. No, that you added. Yes, it is. Lay back. No. <laughs> How the hell did you do this for five minutes in satanic? <laughs> You're a demon. <laughs> oh my gosh. How'd you feel about that much? Like, why do people do that? <laughs> um, so this dream. It was kind of one of those weird dreams where you're like jumping around from dream to dream, like I was in a fire station and next thing I know I'm at my house. Like it's just jumping around all weird, the people are changing, like random, I don't know very random dream um but kind of when i woke up just now um i was in a room and it seemed like people were very judgy almost like it was a very intense conversation with a lot of focus on me and i guess what i was doing at the time it felt like um it almost felt like people were wanting me to do something and i was almost going against what they were doing it was almost a very weird one because it's not like anything too crazy was happening in the dream it was just how i was feeling a lot of pressure i would say this video holy frick bro this is getting deep a lot deeper than i anticipated so i'm sorry <laughs> it's, i'm listening to that voice note 
that was like a side of me I never freaking feel. Like a almost worried? I'm not sure. But remembering back on the dream, it felt very, very pressure heavy. Almost like I just knew it wasn't the right decision for me. I knew it's not what I wanted to be doing, but it felt like it's what I had to be doing, which is interesting. And I think that comes down to a lot of external pressure is kind of what I'm realizing from this one. Just a lot of external pressure and doing what other people want me to do, even though it might not be what I want to be doing. So kind of like people pleasing type of thing. Wow. What's up you lovely people? Uh, you don't know it, but it's been a few days since you've seen me. These last few nights, honestly, nothing crazy dream-wise. I haven't had a ton of sleep, and so if I look a little bit tired, that's probably why. Haven't been getting a ton of sleep and waking up a little bit earlier. Schedule's just been going a little bit crazy. So, really nothing too amazing these last few days, but I have a big old time slot slotted for tonight of sleep. So I'm interested to see what we get out of it. I'm gonna repeat this process the next few nights just to see what happens. If I get any crazy dreams, we'll talk about it. But I'm really starting to realize a lot about myself. Stuff I would have never thought about before. So I was looking at how much freaking dream footage I have. I have like 20 minutes worth of dream footage of like me just talking about my dreams, which shows me how much time I spend awake during the night, which is kind of unfortunate. Anyways, um, so you're not going to be hearing all of the dreams. You're just going to be hearing about the ones that weren't too repetitive. I actually sounded somewhat verbal um, and actually got me to kind of what I'm feeling towards the end of this challenge. So I'm going to sit down right now, go over all the dreams again, go over all my last pages of notes here and come down to the emotions that I felt and the things that my subconscious mind is telling me. These are things that I can improve on, which is an amazing thing. It's I'm kind of at a point where it feels like I've gotten to a really stable point in my life and I'm very happy with where I'm at there. So it's almost like I can't improve too much, which I know is weird. There's always things you can improve, but it's like I feel very comfortable. It's not like I have to improve anything as I want to improve on. So it's kind of nice. I get a few more things that I get to start working towards in my life to help myself become better, get myself to a happier point and get myself more in touch with my emotions. So I'm going to go over these right now. <sighs> See what it comes out to. Okay, we've come to a conclusion. I just listened through all of my voice notes. Freaking roller coaster of emotions, let me tell you. It's like you're reliving your entire life. It's kind of scary in a way. Anyways, I've kind of figured out where this all led me to. The entire mission has led me here. So it's so funny because all of the things that I learned, all the emotions I felt, the caringness, the stress about the work, caring about what people felt about me, profiling them, like the old man I was running from, that one's gonna make the cut because that's freaking crazy. Um, the stress about work, the not being able to turn my mind off from filming this video while I'm sleeping to try to provide a good project for you guys. All of these things led me to people pleasing. That's the thing that all of these things have in common, people pleasing. I like to help other people feel good. Pause. I feel like if I don't do what they're wanting me to do, they're not going to like me because they don't agree with it or for whatever reason. For example, people might think I'm messed up for messing up an old man who's chasing me or for doing something they don't want me to do or not providing a good video. All of these things come down to people pleasing and not doing something because I want to do it. Crazy, bro. Because I actually just learned about this people pleasing thing pretty recently here. And it's crazy that all of these things in my dream have been telling me it for years. I could have been realizing this years ago and my life would be completely different. But I find out today and it really makes it official. <sighs> this is something I highly recommend you do. Uh, you don't even have to do a full seven days. You could do one night, a few nights. It doesn't really matter. It really helps you get in touch with feeling emotions for what you are thinking about. It's crazy, bro. I highly recommend. So comment down below if you do try this, if you want to see any other videos, so on, so forth. I absolutely love filming this one. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it and you learned a thing or two. Follow me on Instagram if you like. Like, comment, subscribe. I will see you in the next one. Peace.